There we go. It's off. Right. Hi. Um, I'm Mike Paul. He's Carlos. Hi, Carlos. How you doing? Um, Hello, Mike. <laughs> Cool. We're uh, we're going to do a review for the London Real Life Accelerator course. Uh, so, Carlos, tell us quickly about yourself. Hi, everyone. Um, I am an engineer. That's how I would put it, at least. And uh, I I work in Switzerland right now. I'm originally from Argentina. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much my intro. I do uh, machine learning and this kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm also very interested in things like uh, psychology and, and uh, things like uh, Buddhism and, uh, and, and how to take a different look at life compared to the engineering side, let's say. Excellent. Cool. All right. Um, I'm a health and wellness coach. I'm 50. I live in Newcastle upon Tyne. Um, and again, a bit like yourself, Carlos, I, uh, I, I like that holistic approach. I uh, yeah, dabble in the Eastern philosophy. Um, see it as a counterpoint to, to try and help balance the, the extremes of Western society. Um, right, I believe you have some questions. Yes, let's get started. So my, my first, question, first question that, well, actually it's for both of us, yeah. is uh, what made you join the Accelerator? And later, how hard was it to pull the trigger to get in? Cool. Uh, do you want me to go first on that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, all right, okay. Um, I've always, I've been doing self-development courses ever since I can remember um, and always missing something. I don't know what it is. Um, I love taking on information. I started progressing. I, I started a new business and it went pear-shaped and a lot of other things. So when I joined, I joined the London Real Academy, I'd seen the Wim Hof video and I thought, wow, this looks really cool. Seen it, really wanted to join it, but couldn't afford it. It was going broke. But then I thought, well, if I don't do it now, um, and there was a, an aligning of the stars, I'd actually watched the, the, the videos, the, the, the webinars, but there was last one and it was like, ah, oh, I can't make it. I'm going to see Lisa. But then Lisa was busy and I arranged to phone a mate and to meet him up, but he couldn't make it either. So I ended up watching this webinar and pressed the button, pressed the button. And I thought, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it had to be, I, I shouldn't have been here to be able to watch it, but I am. And I really liked what I saw. So yeah, I pressed the button. What about yourself? Yeah. Uh, in my case, I think it was similar in the sense of the webinar. Um, because I watched the first webinar and the second webinar. And after the first webinar, I said, well, first I probably should go back to why I was watching these webinars. And I think my, my issues, my particular issue that I wanted to deal with was to, to deal with keeping motivation throughout a project. Because what I would do is I would start with a project, really clear idea, put a lot of energy. And then at some point I would be like losing motivation <clears throat> and just dropping it out. And, uh, and I think that there, there were some fears there. Well, there are some fears there uh, that now, luckily, with the course, uh, I'm able to deal with much better than before. And, uh, and what I was looking for was to have this feeling of achievement and fulfillment. And I think the webinars and the way that Brian introduced the topics in the webinars really got me to think, well, you know, maybe this is not a bad idea. Uh, and, and I watched the first one and I said, ah, I'm not sure this could be a scam, you know? And then I said, okay, let's look at other videos and what this guy has to say. And then I saw also some videos on YouTube from, from, from him, from Brian. I said, well, actually this guy looks pretty genuine in what he's trying to do. And of course he has to do all the publicity for the business side, but yeah. I think he has pretty good intentions, which for me matters a lot. And uh, that's how I, I said, I watched the second one and I said, let's do it. And, uh, and after thinking a bit, I pulled the trigger and, then, and I got in. Yeah, I, I would echo some of your thoughts there. Very slick marketing, and I'm always uh, dubious of slick marketing. But a lot of the messages Brian was given, I watched his TED talk, and um, there were some certain things in there that just matched things that had happened with me. Other than the fact that he's already been very successful, I've never achieved that career success that he has. But his um, feeling of loneliness and lack of fulfillment in what he was doing with us certainly echoed with me there um second question for you what was the biggest thing that happened for you on the course well 
there are many things. I think the first great thing is commu the community's gold, the, the people that like, you know, you, Mike, for example, like it's so much, so interesting, so, so it's, I feel so good to talk to you. And even though we've never been in person, I think it, it, I know it's going to be great when we meet in person next week. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll buy you a beer for that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but I really mean it from my heart, you know, and I think this is the same for other people. I feel the same for many other people in the course. And, uh, and it's just this thing of, you know, to be able to connect with people in the strengths we have and also in the vulnerability uh, and to, 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 to create this connection, even if it's just through uh, video calls. Uh, I mean, it's not just, it's, it's really a great feeling. And, um, and I would say that apart from that, which is a great thing, it's the biggest thing I would say is the affirmations, which come in the, in the second module, I think. Yeah. Um, well, there were many big things, but if I have to say one that I think is changing my life and my habits, which is the goal of this course, is to build new habits, is these affirmations that we do every morning and how I'm changing my affirmations and slowly I can see a change in me and how this keeps me motivated. And when I say them and I can connect to the feeling of, that I want to get with affirmations, it's so powerful each morning. So yeah. for me, it will be the community and the affirmations. That's, yeah, that's really cool. Um, I guess just quickly for anyone who might be watching this, there are six modules. Um, one was uh, about setting the foundations, uh, then mindset, nutrition, movement, relationships and then setting the plan for the future is that about right i think i've just six weeks it's flown by <laughs> um i i just quickly i came on the course because i already did a lot of those things or dabbled with them but had never been consistent with anything and i've been on so many courses but like you said there's no accountability i always felt alone doing it and i can't work alone so yeah, I, I have to echo that with the with the community. It has, it has been brilliant, both on the Facebook and the Zoom meetings, and especially the, the relationships that have developed between a few of us in these like you know the private Zoom meetings, which has been really cool. I guess for me, the two biggest thing, or well, the big the biggest thing, has to be the work on the relationships, and and the things that came out of that. Um, Everything else reaffirmed what I knew I should be doing and, and that awareness of building the habits. I didn't manage to keep the habits going, but I felt resistance and, and Brian, both Brian and Julian challenged me and on that relationship side, things are, are, are totally one with the, the, the private situation I'm in with my girlfriend and a daughter is so much better than it was. Um, but then also the realization that came about myself and, and, and the fact that I believe I'm probably ADHD and, and how that has put everything else in my life into perspective. So that for me is probably the biggest thing. I'll stop there because I could ramble on because there are a lot yeah, of yeah, there are things. Also, yeah. <laughs> um, cool, cool. Then the, the next question we wanted to, 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 to talk about for this review was, uh, would you recommend this to a friend? to start the course let's say i know that there's one starting uh beginning of 2018 i think so yeah. would you recommend a friend of yours to follow the course i i would have to wholeheartedly say yes um i haven't if if you want information this isn't a course for you to come on it's not a technical course um and i've done a gazillion of those um and i needed a course to actually do stuff and this has made me do stuff. I've done more in the, the six weeks in terms of producing videos than I had done in, in four or five years of thinking I'm going to produce videos. Um, and so it's set up to, to make you do things. And we're doing this podcast now. I've talked about doing a podcast with my friend <laughs> so many times. And, we're, and, we, and we've done it. Yeah, we're doing it. You know, and we'll put it up and, and that'll be great. Um, so I would have to wholeheartedly say yes. It will challenge you. You got to come with uh, an open mind. If you come with rigid beliefs and you don't want to do it, don't bother. Um, but if you're willing to be challenged and go for it, you you will see massive changes. Yes, I have to say, definitely yes. Yourself, I also say yes, and I already actually recommended it to a friend of mine. That well, I was very open about this with my friends and even with people that are not. That, when I would have to do something at a particular time, I would say, look, I have this call 
a video call and if they would ask me why or what is what it is about i would tell them uh that it's about some coaching or, or well what i don't know how to explain very well but i would go through the explanation yeah. and then one friend of mine told me like how is it going did you like it and i said um uh, yeah, yeah. He said, would you recommend it? And I was like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and he's a very close friend of mine. So, um, yeah, definitely, yes. And I agree with you with what you say about uh, being, being ready to take this, let's say, fully, in the, in, to take it on completely and not skim and say, oh, I'm doing this part and not that part, because I think it's all very well connected. And it makes sense that there are these six, these six modules that drive you slowly through different aspects of life because there's no single aspect of life that is going to make you fulfilled it's all this this joint thing and i think that uh at london real they have they've made a very very good um how do you say concise uh collection of these things yeah. and, and ready to deliver to people and i think that the other thing that makes it makes it great for me made it great for me was that you have to do things and it's not just reading because we can read a lot of books uh but when you have things that you have to accomplish, challenges that you have to go through, and friends that are telling you, because it's friends in the end, that are telling you, go do it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Push for it. We're expecting you to do it, and we will all do it. We're all in it. We're all 100% into it. Uh, that's when you feel that, you know, I cannot let myself down, and I cannot let others down. Yeah. And I think this is what makes the course great. And you could get the videos, you could get all the knowledge, but for me, it was also the same. I read about this stuff before. But yeah. now it's having brilliant. to do it is when the it's habits brilliant. start to come out, right? Yeah. To, to be created. Yeah, totally and utterly. The doing it, that's been my biggest failure. I have not completed so many other courses because I didn't do all of the exercises. I didn't finish that last thing. And I'm going to graduate from this. Yes, I haven't managed to keep all the habits going, but I will have ticked off 98% of the stuff by the end and it's it's a it's a pretty awesome feeling and and the friendships that i feel are developing already out of it and, and this willingness to support everyone um, i think it is awesome so for anyone who's watching the one thing i would say uh, just for my finishing point is that i don't for me it's not a life accelerator so it's almost like a life foundations this is what we should be taught early on <laughs> and then yeah you can spring off this really really strong solid foundation but uh, yeah fantastic um, and although it's been hard it has been hard uh, but yeah I love it so should we call it there very cool so first apologies to everyone because we really improvised this and I think myself I'm not very good at podcasting or talking to people and you probably saw the transition between <laughs> this low hey, Tyler, I'm, I'm going to take the super positive Rob I really thoroughly enjoyed it and I, I think we I think we're a cracking team I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more of these so uh, you can order I mean I the, 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 the confidence I'm feeling now from where well, you saw my video two days ago um, and I'm, I'm lying there 16 minutes bawling my eyes out in front of everyone. The fact that I was able to do that, but now how I'm feeling after that, for me, is just awesome. Yeah, yeah. so I think it also inspires a lot of confidence. Uh, yeah. This course helps a lot on that. Um, so yeah, I think that for me, that, that's all I had to say. I also agree with what you said about the name, but I think that has to do with the marketing side, you know, yeah. calling it Accelerator is more um, um, achievement um focused i would say or like goal focused and and it probably makes more lamps light on but uh but i also agree that it's it's a discovery of many aspects of life and and, and new habits that i think that's the main thing for me here cool. so for me and then this is what i've suffered from just go do it yeah definitely all right cool all right um and and hopefully we'll see whoever's watching this we'll see you in the london real academy at some time even though we have no financial gain from this we've just loved it so get on it bye Ciao, everyone.